Okay, so good afternoon, guys. Hello. Okay, I'm gonna miss Miss Alfie. So good afternoon. Okay, day two. Ang bilis, no? Okay, uh, ayan, ayan. Miss Alfie. Okay, good afternoon, Miss Alfie. How are you? Hi, good afternoon. Hi, everyone. Yes, naman. So, ayan, nandiyan na sila. Nagpipresent na sila. So, ayan, uh, mag-shoutout lang tayo ng mga ibang names dito. So, ayan, si Miss Sha from Palawan. Wow. Okay, nandiyan si Venge. Nandiyan si, si Chai, si Randy, si Mylene, si Jessica, si Regina, Precious. Okay, si Jay. Hello, guys. Hi, Mylene. Hi, Jessica. This Tita. Ayun, ayun. Hi, Daniel. Good afternoon. Okay, uh, sige, pasok lang. Ayan, pumapasok ng iba. Ayan, kailang nga dyan ipapas. Okay. Uh, please let us know if you can hear me well. Okay ba yung audio ko? Please let me know. Ayan. Oh, may meron tayong hanggang paksidental at amin doro. Ah, kagayan di oro. <laughs> okay. So, yun. From Imus. Okay. Sino third. Hello, good afternoon. Alright. So, Miss Alfie, ikaw na lang mag-approve sa mga pumapasok. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Hey. Oh, yun. Here daw po. Okay. Thank you. Alright, yes, sige. Okay. Um, excited na ba kayo for day two? Okay, how excited na? Kasi uh, we're gonna walk through zero kung wala ka pang ka-idea-idea. So, this afternoon, ito yung topic natin. So, pakikita ko sa inyo yung dashboard, okay, yung invoice, uh, yung invoicing, yung billing, okay, yung chart of accounts, the settings, and uh, the reports, okay? Alright, so ayan, from Clear naman daw. Ayan, hi, from Jensen. Meron pa yung from Jensen, si Wendell. Yes. Ayan. Ayan, may patangas. Okay, sige. So, again, guys, sa ating Zero Training Day 2. Okay, thank you for joining us again. I, I guess the attendees is parang dum dumadami ulit. Same, same ng kahapon. I guess yung iba pa habol pa niyan. So, again, thank you for sticking with us. So, right now, we are now on day two. Okay? So, the topic for this afternoon is zero walkthrough. Okay? So, thank you sa lahat ng mga sumagot doon sa ating uh, Google form. Okay? Nakita ko na yung mga sagot nyo. Okay? Ang daming mga takeaways and nakita ko na rin yung mga sagot nyo for our question yesterday. Okay? So, gusto nyo bang malaman kung tama yung sagot nyo? <laughs> Okay, ang sagot doon is yung bank accounts. Okay, yung bank accounts, accounting transaction. Yun lang siya. Ha? Pero kasi yung iba, parang iba yung nasagot. <laughs> Pero thank you. Ha? I, I will count that as well. Ito yung mga ibang sumagot pa rin. Okay, lalo na yung mga naglagay ng takeaways nila for day one. Okay, sa mga nagtatanong, okay, doon sa part na yon sa takeaways, ang meaning ng takeaway is, parang yung lesson na nakuha mo or ano man yung natutuhan mo for the day. Okay? Let's say, uh, natutuhan ko ngayong araw na to, uh, ano ba yung zero? Okay? Natutuhan ko ngayong araw na to, paano ba i-create yung invoice or bills? Okay? Be as specific as possible. Okay? Uh, importante sa amin yung mga uh, feedback nyo po na yun. Okay ba tayo? And then, um, ano ba ba? Um, Kating announcement lang bago tayo mag-start. Again, guys, we want you to stick around hanggang matapos po yung training. Okay? Meron pa tayong remember, we have the perfect attendance bonus, the clean-up guide tool. Okay? So, and for you to answer the question uh, number two. Okay? Meron tayong, di ba? Meron tayong uh, uh, sinasagutan dun sa form kung uh, anong, sinusulatan dun sa form kung ano answer. Okay? So, meron tayo ulit ng question number two for this, for day two. Okay? And then, another announcement, um, meron tayong changes ng schedule for tomorrow. Okay? 
instead of 2 p.m., we'll be doing it at 4 p.m., guys. Okay, again, it will be 4 p.m. tomorrow. Okay, 4 p.m. po ang schedule natin tomorrow. Meron tayong konting changes, okay? Para kahit medyo mag-extend tayo tomorrow kasi I believe mag-extend tayo tomorrow kasi meron tayong Ask Me Anything uh, session. So may Q&A part tayo na medyo magtatagal tayo ng konti doon. Okay? So 4 p.m. tayo tomorrow guys. Ha? Pakipalitan yung schedule nyo and we'll be informing you as well sa email. Okay? It will be 4 p.m. tomorrow. Okay. Uh, all right. Okay. Sige, sige. So, next. Ano pa bang announcement? Okay. Okay. I guess that's it. Okay. Iba daw. Sagot niya. Files. Okay. 4 p.m. Okay. Thank you so much. And don't forget, we have a bongga-bongga announcement for tomorrow. So, sa lahat na nagnanais, okay, na makapasok sa ating masterclass, we have some announcement for you uh, tomorrow and uh, some exciting, um, what do you call this, mga taong bibisita sa atin here in the Bookkeeper Secret Academy. So, wag nyo balampasin yun. And uh, uh, another announcement for next week. So, abangan nyo yan, uh, bukas, i-announce po namin yan. Okay? So, yeah, we can start na para medyo matapos tayo din agad sa schedule na sinabi natin. Okay, sige. Alright, sige. Um, may help I'll be sharing my screen for me. Okay. Again, guys, uh, we will entertain questions at the end of the um the discussion. Okay, thank you. All right. Uh, Miss Alfie, can you see my screen ba? Wala pa. Okay, there you go. Okay. Okay. All right, sige. Okay, so again, good afternoon, walk through. Okay. Uh, meron na ba dito iba na, na may idea kung ano itsura ng zero sa loob or probably yung iba nakapag-sign up na ng trial account? Meron na ba? I just want to see some comments. Meron na ba? Ikaw, Miss Alfie, meron ka bang free, uh, free account? Yes. Yes. And I believe may client ka sa zero, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Sige, sige. Nag-explore. <laughs> yes. Okay. Nice. So, okay. So since we're, we're gonna use the uh, demo company this afternoon, I want you as well, sa mga hindi pa nakaka-create ng kanilang trial account, I encourage you to um, to create your trial account in Zero, especially if you want, if you're really serious about pursuing Zero accounting software. Okay, kung gusto mo talaga siyang um, explore, gusto mo talaga siyang malaman, okay? Look and feel how zero works, okay? Okay po ba? Why? Because uh, yung trial organization or trial account is the same as the paying organization or paying account ng zero. Okay? So parang uh, bago ka pa bumili subscription nila or bago mo pa gamitin yung subscription ng client mo, eh alam mo na siyang gamitin. Kasi yun nga, pinagamit nila as free. Okay, may trial, trial version siya, which is available for 30 days. Okay, uh, meron dito, meron po bang test drive in there? Yes po, meron po siyang demo company. Okay, merong demo company is zero, just like QuickBooks. Okay, okay ba tayo? Okay, so ganito siya, you have to go to, go to zero.com sa mga uh, wala pang trial account, okay? And if you're really serious about pursue, pursuing zero, I suggest yun nga, mag-create kayo ng trial account. 
So just go to go go to zero.com and then just uh, go to uh, click nyo lang po yung free trial dito sa taas. Then fill in the details. Ito, first name, last name, email address, phone number, uh, syempre yung country and okay, click mo to yung captcha. And then I have been agreed to terms and privacy over details. Click mo lang yan. Okay? So if you are uh, in other country, okay, so feeling ko yun naman yung offer nila sa'yo. Let's say for you, when you are in Australia. Excuse so, me, girl. Excuse me. Hindi ata naka-screen share. Ah, hindi siya. Oh my gosh. Uh -uh. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, akala ko naka may kita. Okay. Ayun. Okay. Kita na po? Okay. Yes, yeah. yes. Oh my gosh. Kala ko na. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you. Thank you po. Uh, ayan. So, ayan. Zero walk through. So, ito po siya. Sorry, hindi nakita. Okay. Sige. Um, Alright. So, ito nga. Ito nga po yung sinasabi ko. Okay. So, as you can see, this, this is the screenshot. So, for you to get your trial account, kung wala ka pa, you have to go to zero.com, okay? And then, you have to click free trial, then fill in the details. So, yun nga, first name, last name, email address, phone number, and uh, country. Okay, let's say you're in Taiwan, or you're in Singapore, or you're in Australia, okay? And then, syempre, kung nasan ka, yun yung offer nyo lang zero, uh, zero, zero plan sa'yo, or zero trial account. Okay, let's say zero AU, okay, Z, zero um, US, okay, kung nasaan kang country, yun yung i-offer nila sa'yo. Okay, so same lang naman, halos para parang lang naman kapag nag-fill out ka ng trial. Okay, so yan. And then, um, see, uh, so, or since we're gonna use the demo company, so ayun na, let's say meron ka ng trial account, oh, ito na si demo company. Okay? So, demo company, ayan, mahanap siya dito sa organization menu. Okay? My zero, ayan, demo company. So, ganito yung itura niya kapag nakapasok ka. Okay? So, ito yung sinasabi na test drive. Ito yung pinaka, ano niya, pinaka demo company, uh, sample company niya. So, may mga um, transaction, may mga uh, banking transaction na pwede mo i-reconcile. Okay, may mga bank accounts na nakasetup na. Okay, may mga account watch list. Okay, may invoices at mga bills na na pwede mong laruin, i-play around, i-practice. Okay, meron siya. Okay, just like in QuickBooks. Okay. Uh, okay. Next. Um, Siyempre, iba dito, nagtatanong sila. Um, what if um, gusto ko, halwa, na-reconcile mo na yan, yung na, nalaro mo na yung demo company niya. Malignis na, wala nang reconcile, reconcile na items. Gusto ko naman this time, instead of, uh, yung bawa, kung Philippine transaction yan, or UK, or US yan, gusto mo iba na namang transaction yung i-import mo para mapaglaruan mo nga. So, gagawin mo lang is, you just need to reset. Okay? You just need to reset yung demo company. Pero kung ayaw mo siya i-reset, uh, 28 days, it will reset itself. After 28 days. Magre-reset siya mag-isa niya. Okay? And then, kung yung iba naman, nagtatanong if, halimbawa, um, nag-start kami ng client ko na mag-demo company muna or trial company muna. Okay, para matest niya kung gusto niya ba talaga itong i-pursue. Pwede naman. Okay, pwede naman. Okay, and then, lahat ng transactions na nilagay mo doon sa demo mo at tapos in-upgrade mo, manatili naman yun. Andiyan yan. Okay? Okay, okay po ba? So, when you add your organization to zero, we have the choice of subscribing immediately or trialing it for free for 30 days. Again, uh, trial organization have almost the same feature as paying organization. So any any transaction and, and settings you add during the trial period remain if you subscribe. Okay? Na natili siya, hindi siya mawawala. Alright? So, ayun. 
Um, so, I hope clear si Demo Company. Yan. Napakadali lang naman mag-create nito. So, ayun nga. You, have just, you just need to go to zero.com. Then, fill in the details. Okay? And then, ayan. Ganyan yung view. Okay? Ng Demo Company. And then, if you want to reset it, ito, ganito yung process niya. So, pagpunta mo dun sa My Zero kanina, ito, My Zero, it will show all the organization that you will have. Okay? Just like this. Okay? And then, at the bottom, ayun, makikita mo siya yung reset button. Okay? If you click reset demo button, ayan, mag-reset siya niya. Okay? Lahat ng pinasok mo na transaction sa reset bot, uh, reset, uh, sa demo company, of course, mo wala yan. Okay? Okay po ba? So, mara-reset siya. Babalik siya dun sa original niya na 28 pang in-reconcile items. Okay? The, yung original niyang demo. Okay? Okay, okay ba? Nakasabay? Uh, let me just see some comments here. Okay. Okay. Medyo delay lang. Alright. Um, next naman, okay, sige. Kung malinaw na to, we'll, we'll go straight dun sa demo company na. Kasi I'll be showing you the dashboard, okay? I'll be showing you the invoices, the bills, the banking, the chart of accounts, the settings, and the reports. Okay, let me show you the demo company. Kita naman ba yung screen ko? Kita naman po, Ms. Avi? yung pag-change ko sa demo company. Yes, yes, okay, yes. Po. Okay. So, ayan, um, ito na si demo company. So, as you can see, katulad lang siya nung sa screenshot, eh, pero wala naman. Ito rin naman yun. So, ayan, uh, we have the, um, what do you call this? Um, uh, zero dashboard uh, lets you see how your business is performing at a glance. Okay, it's like an overview. Ayan, no? overview. Okay. In here, as you can see, the total cash in and out, uh, this gives you an idea of your monthly transactions. So you can stay top of your cash flow. Ayan, no? How many uh, yung cash in, cash out, okay, the difference, okay, okay kung kumita ka ba ngayong month o hindi, mas malaki ba yung uh, sales or expenses, ayan, dito dyan. Okay, and then in, in the account watch list, this is where um, the dashboard display the income and expenses you want to, to monitor. Or not only income and expenses, but uh, uh, other, um, uh, what do you call this, uh, GL code or general ledger co uh, accounts na gusto mong na monitor. Okay, ayun sila. Yeah, so for this month, okay, for the advertising, enter entertainment, okay, inventory and sales. Okay. Okay. And then um meron din tayo dito sa dashboard about invoices owed to you. Okay, ito yung mga AR natin, accounts receivables. Okay, so uh, dito sa ating demo company, as you can see, meron siya outstanding na ina-expect niya this week. Ayan. And meron din siya outstanding August 30 of September 5. And then we also have the um, the bills you need to pay. So ito yung mga AP accounts payable. As you can see, oh, magkikita mo kung may draft invoices. Ilan yung awaiting payment? Ilan yung overdue? Okay. Same with the accounts payable or the purchase side. Ayan, meron siyang draft bills, waiting payment, and overage bills. Yeah. So, ayan, meron din siyang expense claim. So, dito empty yung expense claim niya. So, ito yung in-explain ko hapon na you can easily upload your receipts. Okay, receipts na uh, for reimbursement sa company. Okay, especially if you have access to upload and scan receipts. Okay, for expense claims. Okay, nandito siya. Pwede na sa draft, pwede na, uh, nat, natin to review or, uh, wala siya. For review or uh, need to pay. Okay. Alright, so dito naman sa part na to, this is where 
uh, you see um, the bank activity. Ayan siya. Okay. As you can see. And check your balances. Okay. Check your statement balance and the balance in zero or your in your books. Okay. And then you can start reconciling items here. Kapag merong ganyan. Okay. So, pag ganito, okay, usually meron siya dito, ba, may bank account ka. Tapos may logo ng bank account. Ibig sabihin, connected siya. Connected yung bank, bank account mo. Okay? Pero ano ba, pag ganito lang, ganyan, may bank account, nag-setup ka, manually mo sinet up, pero hindi siya naka-connect dun sa bank account. Okay? Walang logo yan, wala kang makikita connected. Tapos you need to manually import the transaction. Okay? Okay po ba? So, ganun po. Okay, this is the dashboard. Okay, again, that's the bank account. Yung mga accounts, okay? So, accounts, pwede siyang uh, savings, business, uh, business, trading account. Okay, merong savings account. Okay, merong mga checking accounts. Okay, merong credit card. Okay, so dito yan. It's in a setup. And make sure lahat na isa setup mo dun sa books ni client are all related to the business. Okay? Hindi po sinasali dito yung personal, ano nila, uh, personal bank account. Okay? Kasi madalas po nilang ginagawa yun. Hindi dapat. Okay? Uh, what else? So, yan, account watch list, invoice owed to you, bills you need to pay, and the expense claim. Okay. Uh, next, uh, we're going, so by the way guys, ito pala ang navigation bar. Okay, so ito yung mga menu, so punta tayo sa dashboard. Now, we're going to the business menu. This one is, uh, ito yung mga additional tools. So, ito yung quick, uh, uh, ito yung plus button na uh, wherein you can quickly uh, create invoice. Uh, parang shortcut button to. Or you can create invoice, bill, contact, quote, purchase order, menu, journal, spend money, receive money, transfer money. Parang sa quickbooks, meron din ganito. Quick launch. Ayan. Okay. And then, of course, alam naman natin to. Search button. So, since demo company to, hindi siya available. Okay. And then notification bell, ayun siya. And then we have this help, okay? Dito kung may hilang kang tulong or meron kang hinahanap, okay, record for payment, add new user to your organization, okay, add delete ng account, so, and then lahat. Okay, you can uh, type it here, okay, and then uh, type mo lang. Okay, then maybe bigay siyang mga suggestion sa'yo. Okay, of course, it came up Okay. Alright, so this one is the organization menu. Okay, kanina pinakita ko doon sa screenshot sa demo company. And then, ito, files. So, this is where, uh, as I discussed yesterday, this is where you can actually store, um, upload receipts, documents, okay, na, you, na mapupunta sa library. Okay, gantay natin siya. Ayan. So, ganyan yung itsura na. Okay? So, you can upload here. Tapos siyang uh, cloud uh, storage. Pero yung G-Drive, ganun. Okay? However, I think this is only 25 MB up to 1 GB. Okay? Limited lang. So, hindi natin tating lagay lahat dito. Okay? So, ayan. And then... Then, meron tayo uh, settings. Ito rin. Another way to to access yung settings dito sa organization menu. Dito siya, settings. Okay. And then, naman na natin discuss yung settings. In detail. So, as you can see, ito yung mga organization, mga, mga client ko na pinatrabaho ko ngayon. Okay, in zero. So, ano ba, may bago kang client, pwede mo siyang i-add dito. Or, ano ba, May invitation from the client, yun accept mo siya using this, this email address or kung gamit mo uh, username for zero, automatically ma-add siya dito. Okay? And then, uh, ito, ito yung mga ibang partner ni zero. You can actually connect your work workflow max, your help doc, 
and uh, ito, app marketplace. Okay? You can connect or integrate some other application in Zero. And then ito ay sinasabi ko kanina, yung My Zero. So si My Zero, it will show you all the organization that you have. Okay? Last login. Okay? And then the access that you have and the subscription. Okay? 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 Okay po ba tayo? So, last ng taong nag-login doon, pakikita niya. So, yan. So, far itong mga kasama namin sa team yan. Okay. Alright. So, balik tayo sa dashboard. Okay. Punta na tayo sa business menu. Okay. Ito, ito ako, bagong feature to me, Zero, yung short-term cash flow under the business menu and the business snapshot. Okay. So, short-term cash flow, uh, wait lang ako sa inyo, paano ba yan? Ayan o, no? speak nito eh. Uh, projected balance from invoices and bills. So, let's say in the next seven days, ayan, uh, meron siya ipro-project sa'yo na, na cash flow. Ayan siya. Tapos, you can actually choose the next 30 days. Ayan. Dito may invoices owed to you, bills to pay, and the projected balance. Okay. Uh, another thing in the business menu is your business snapshot. Okay, so business snapshot. And well, let's say you want to run last quarter. Okay, and you can update it. Okay, mag income ba, pataas, okay, expenses ba, pataas, again. Okay, kita mo yung efficiency, yung gross profit margin, ayan. Large operating expenses, binibreakdown niya. Okay, ayan. Then we have the financial position in cash, balance sheet, assets, liability, and equity. And dito rin. Ayan. Okay. So, uh, those are under the business menu. Okay. Business menu. Business menu. And then, ito na. So, this is, uh, this is where you can create another way to, to create invoice. Also, invoices. Okay. Quotes. Sales overview. Dito rin mahanap yung bills to pay, purchase order, purchase. Purchase over, okay, expense claim and products and services. Okay, products and services, this is the inventory. Okay. Okay, po. Okay, sige. So, for the invoices, punta tayo para makita nyo. So, this is the sales overview. Uh, this is the invoices. So, in here, you have the option to create an invoice, uh, new repeating invoice. Okay, and then you can actually create a contact group. Okay, and then uh, as you can see, meron ding a uh, credit note, send statements. Okay, send statements. Let's say uh, um, for that specific customer, kasi yung makita yung balances niya. Okay, and then you click yan. Okay, related. You know, standing balances. And then you adjust yan. Para makita mo rin yung uh, magkano invoice, magkano naging payment niya, okay? Alright, so ayan, walang, walang pay payment ever. And pwede mo siya i-print sa PDF or email directly to the store. Okay? And then... So ayan nga, meron tayong import, okay? If you want to bring uh, new contracts or new invoices, I mean, uh, this is a zero. You can import that. Just click import. Okay. Just need to download the temp template file. Then copy the invoices in the template. Okay. Just answer this. Okay. Uh, would you like to update contact address details? Okay. Is the unit or amount filled? Are tax exclusive or exclusive? So tax exclusive, of course. Hindi ka sama yung tax. Tax inclusive kasi kami. So ikaw na mag-decide sa kung ano man yung any import. Okay, and then you have the export, of course. Let's say you want to convert from zero to QuickBooks. Okay, you want to bring up all the invoices uh, from zero to QuickBooks. Click the export. Okay, 
And then you also have invoice reminders, okay? So in here, as you can see, you can see all the invoices na under send draft, under awaiting approval, awaiting payment, paid, and repeating. So nandito sila lahat. As you can see, I think it's not good. You can actually fill there, yan. Dito, okay, it's a date. We're the nice one, siya. From the oldest to the newest, yan. As you can see, ang status. Ito. So, the number, the reference, the customer, the date, the due date, if it's paid or, or due or outstanding balance pa. Okay, in the status. And uh, the status of the invoice, if it's sent or uh, awaiting approval, okay. Okay. Ayun na sa draft pa or hindi siya na sa Right? Ayun nga, ayun na yung draft, invoices. Okay. Usually, nag-create ng draft kapag, let's say, meron pang hinihintay. Okay. Let's say, may attachment na hinihintay. Or, uh, let's say, uh, hindi ka pa sigurado kung ano ka kung Okay. Or, you have to verify kung ano yung tax rate. Or, may ka mga documentation. So, usually, ayan, kinisave mo na as draft. Okay. For checking. Halimbawa, um, nasa 50% sure ka na dun sa invoice. Okay? Let's say ito, 50% sure ka na sa invoice. Natulain mo na yung customer name, the date, the due date. Okay? Again, invoice number auto-generated to. Wala ka nang gagawin dyan. You can only do something here with sa reference. Hindi ka magdagdag. Okay? Hindi mong ayusin yan. Okay? Pwede ka magdagdag. Um... Depende kung anong may in-house uh, reference mo kayo. Pwede mo lapit dyan. And then dito, branding. Uh, this is actually template for the invoice. Nasa setting yun. Pwede mo siyang ayusin. Let's say, gusto mo lagay na logo. Okay. Uh, meron ka pa ang mga notes sa baba. Pwede yan. Pwede mo ayusin yan dito sa settings. Okay. Invoice settings. Okay. So, there you go. We have the email want to email this uh, invoice directly sa file, okay? Then, or you want to print to PDF or attach mo na lang, tapos ikaw mag-email using Outlook or whatever uh, ginagamit mo in communicating with the client, okay? Then, invoice invoice option, okay? you have the uh, option if you want to repeat this invoice, okay? you can set, set up as repeating invoice, tapos nasa-save siya as draft or awaiting payment agad. Okay, nasa sa inyo yan. Then, yan, dito rin yung delete button. And copy. Okay. And then, this one, this is where you can actually upload the file, the receipts. Okay. Uh, yung pinapita kong files kanina dito, let's say nasa library ka, pwede mo siyang kunin from the library. Okay. And then, ayan, as you can see, item. Okay, I can, ito yung sa products and services. Um, let's say, recurring naman yung services. You can actually set up para pag pinili mo yung item na yun, mag-autofill na lang yung description mo, yung quantity, yung unit price, yung account, okay, yung tax rate. Okay? Kung hindi naman nagbabago yung price. Okay? Actually, pwede mo pa rin naman i-edit yung price. Let's say, may konting changes. Pero kapag ito kasi, uh, tawag dito. Ito, pag sinetap mo yung product uh, item sa zero, kailangan siya ng description, ng quantity, ng unit price, na account, and tax rate. Okay? So anyways, hindi, kung hindi, uh, limbawa, ginamit mo itong item na to, tapos uh, may changes pala sa unit price. So make sure, kung may changes, palitan mo bago mo siya i-approve. Okay, then this one, ito, ito yung sinasabi ko, pwede mo siyang save as draft, okay, save and continue editing, save and submit for approval, and save and add another, yung mga option. So dito, you can actually approve that, you approve this invoice, yung mo okay na siya. Okay, this part, yung region na to, it, it's part of the tracking categories, let's say you're tracking the, the location, Okay, for each customer. For this one, let's say, 
Uh, there, uh, this one is for the north. Okay. So, dun yung lang yan. And then, ito pa pala. Yung uh, taxes. Uh, if it's tax exclusive, tax inclusive, or no tax. Okay. Sino effect yun dito? So, yung tax inclusive. Okay. No tax. Okay. Okay. Ayan siya. Okay. Tapos, ito yung mga option. Let's say, wala dyan yung mga option. You can actually set that up in the settings. Okay. Okay. Tax rate. And pwede ka mag-add dyan. Okay. So, ayan. Approve. Approve and add another. Approve and view. Next. And approve and print. So this one, let's say, okay na ako dyan, satisfied na ako sa nakalagay dyan sa invoice na yan. I just wanna click approve. Okay, mapupunta na siya dun sa awaiting payment. Okay, invoice po, pwede yung baguhin kung gusto mo na ibang customer. Anong ibang customer? Ibang customer po? Miss Alfie, malabo ba sa'yo yung, ano, yung share screen? Okay lang naman. Baka uh, siguro, ano, sa uh, internet, siguro. connection. Uh -oh. Yes. Check na lang yung quality ng video plus baka din sa internet connection. So far, so good naman dito sa akin. So far, maliwanag yung internet for Miss Alfie. And, ako din, medyo magbilis pa naman yung aking internet connection. Okay. Okay, so yeah. So, I hope clear. Okay naman, Miss Alfie. Clear naman ba yung sa invoicing part? Yes. Medyo delay kasi yung secretary. Okay. Ayun, ang sabi ni Rupert, try mo daw i-change yung quality setting to 720. Ayan, 720 resolution. Alright. Alright, so yeah, uh, next tayo. Okay, uh, bills to pay. So, bill side lang yun tayo. Okay, for the bills, okay, uh, ganito rin, actually pareho lang. Pareho lang siya din no, um, ng sales. Okay yung itsura niya. Okay. So, talaga iba lang. Purchase side to. Okay. So, as you can see, meron din siyang new bill, new repeating bill, new credit note, import, export, uh, zoom in. Ayan. Okay na ba to? <laughs> okay na ba yung ganyang ka-zoom? Ayan. Kita na ba? Hindi delay. May delay. Okay. Sige. Okay na yan. Ganyan ka lang. Okay na. <laughs> okay, yes. Sige. Okay na yan. Ha -ha. Alright. Sige. Uh, okay. So, same lang. Same lang siya dun sa sales overview. Sales side. So, we have the uh, new uh, new bill, new repeating, new credit New credit note, import, export, okay. And then, andito rin yung mga tab, okay, for all the bills. Magigita mo siya lahat dito, okay. And then, also the draft, okay, draft bills, dun siya mapupunta. Awaiting approval, okay, awaiting payment. So, this one, uh, uh, inuntay mo yung due date, okay. So, parang siya, ayan, yung mga due date ang nakakalagay, you can organize it, okay. Uh, you can sort, kailan yung iba, overview na, you can monitor. Okay, and kagandahan pa dito, you can actually schedule payments and uh, do batch payments. Ayun na, batch payments, schedule payments. Okay, ayan. Okay, and then this is the pay tab. Tab, unpaid na bills, ayan. 
Okay, ayun. As you can see, may in-apply na credit note. Doon siya build. And then repeating in bills. Okay, ayan. Uh, um, meron kasi option sa repeating invoices or repeating bills. If you're gonna save it as draft or auto-approve. Okay. Yung repeating bill, dito lang yun. Wait up siya. Okay. Um, really guys, it uh, once a month okay, or once a week. I repeat mo ba siya every week or every month? Diyan siya. And then, lagay mo yung bill date. And then, June. Lagay mo yung group of the following month. Ba siya? Or days after bill date. Days at the end of the bill of or of the current. And then, let's say, uh, may katapusan kong repeating bill mo. Lagay mo lang dito. Okay lang siya matatakot. A bill from, of course, your supplier name, the reference, the description, the unit size, quantity, account, tax rate, region, and the amount. A and the currency. Okay. So currently, I'm using the UK demo company. Okay. And then, balik tayo sa bills. Okay. Okay. Pakita ko lang ang sample bill. Ito. Okay. As you can see, ayan, na-fill in kung kaninong supplier. Okay. And then, meron siyang uh, date. Kailan yung date ng bill. And then, due date. Okay. Supposedly, dapat merong attachment yan. Okay. Uh, then, ito, demo company. Hindi niya na nilagyan. Okay. Siyempre, yung details na to, makukuha mo dun sa bill or the receipts na binigay sa'yo ni Tawa. Okay. Okay po ba? Kasi kung wala kang um, dito, wala kang reference, uh, usually directly dun sa bank feeds tayo nag naglagreconcile. Parang expense entry lang siya or deposit entry. Okay? Wala na tayong kinikreate na invoice or bills. Okay? Appreciate niya later sa bank reconciliation. So, ganito siya kapag nagkikreate ka ng bills. Dali lang naman to. Uh, yan. Para pa lang yung data entry dito. Ayan, description, quantity, unit price. Okay. The account. Okay. Siyempre, search mo. Let's say, bago ko pa lang, nag-enter yung mga bills. And you don't, hindi ka sigurado kung ano na ito. Pwede ka mag-search sa Google. Ano ba itong capital cab ko? From the cab pa lang, alam mo na, tax ito. Okay. And if you know that this is local, Local taxi, then it's travel national. But if you know it's international, if it's from other country, you can put travel international. Okay? Uh, or let's say, merong iba silang ginagamit in-house, transportation, okay? Okay? Depende kasi, you can refer to previous entries. Okay? Okay po ba? Uh, ayun. Uh, ano pa? Ayan, tax rate, ganun din. As I explained in the sales side, then solution. Let's say you want to add, yan. If you want to edit the bill, ayun, bill option. Okay, may repeat, may void, may copy, may view. Okay, then saklik ko ng edit kanina. Ayan, nandito na siya. Excuse me. So I can edit this. So let's say I want to put region. Ayan. Then I want to change the tax rate. Okay, let's say I want that 5% lang. Ayan. Say, so, na-satisfy ka na. Okay. Remember, alam mo nga, make sure uh, binubura mo to. Sige, pakita ko sa inyo. Um, yun nga, hindi siya nagbago. Nagbago ako ng unit price. Kaya update ko siya. Hindi error. Diba? So, pag nagbago ka ng unit price, make sure ah, uh, Natanggal mo yan. Okay. So you can type in yung bagong code. Okay. Okay ba tayo? Alright. Sige, sige. So, para sa daw po yung region? So, region, actually, ito, kahit wala to. Ano lang to, ah, nandito siya sa may, let's say, nagtatrack lang. 
you're you're using the tracking categories wherein you track uh let's say this company is tracking uh region okay sa business niya gusto niyang i-track uh ano ano yung mga expenses ko for south ano ano yung mga sales ko for south okay yun yun okay you can change that hindi lang sa region let's say you are uh, your client is a uh, real estate uh industry okay let's say yun nga, real estate industry hindi po na opo tumigil po talaga kaya nag-stop yung video okay so um real estate industry let's say you the client wants to uh track the income and expenses for that property okay pwede mong pangalan dito properties okay and then set up lahat ng mga properties ng client mo okay may okay, po ba marisi okay yeah. So, ayan. Kaya para mas ma-appreciate nyo. Ito ka. Tapos na tayo sa business menu. Ayan. Invoices, bills. O, oh, yun. Expense claim. Sige, pakita ko muna sa expense claim. Para mas appreciate nyo yung setting. Pinisitabi ko yung mga tracking categories. Okay. Maganda yung mga questions nyo, ha. Okay, okay yan. Loading. So, ito yan. Ito si, ano, uh, Ikan's Claim. Okay, so, currently, wala kasing sample to. Pero, uh, yan natin itong draft. Uh, wala din upload Oh, let's say here, okay, let's say uh, postage, okay, let's say the amount is 50, meron dito, may receipt dito na naka-upload, let's say it's for postage, okay, let's say that's 15.50 GDP, and that's for the postage, spend, where was the money spent, let's say postage pa rin. and then spend, Okay. And then, game is a full stage, rate and career. Let's say this is for each side. Okay. Wala naman ang pinasahin customer. Adding label. Okay. So, this one, let's say meron siyang fat na 5%. So, nakita ko yung uh, VAT na to dun sa receipt. Okay? Let's just imagine may receipt dito. Ha? Okay. And then, total, 15.50. And then, option ka to save, submit, approve. Okay. So, I want to approve this one. Okay. Meron ako for expense claim. 15.50. Okay. Alright. So, yun sa, yun sa expense claim. Okay, so ibig sabihin, this is for reimbursement. Okay. And then, products and services, ito yung kanina. This is where you track inventory. Okay. Uh, ito siya. So we have item code, item name, cost price, and sales price. Okay. Nag-stop po ba yung video, Ms. Alfie? Wala naman. Okay lang po. Okay lang. Okay, thank you. Uh, baka kailangan niyo po i-refresh Miss, Miss Glo. Yung, yung. Yes. Okay, so ayan. So as you can see, ito yung mga sample inventory item here in zero. So, tingnan natin. So, ito siya. Pwede natin edit yung item. Okay. So, item code, it's book. Okay. Ito, syempre, sa inyo yan, in-house. In-house yan, kung paano kayo nagpo-code ng items. Okay. Uh, item name, fish out of water, finding your brand. And then, purchase this item as 15.95, purchase account, that, description, 
We sell this item, unit price, sales account, tax rate, and then sales description. You can click this if you're tracking this item. I will save. Okay. And then, yun, may option ka to mark it as inactive or you want to delete it. And you can also add attachment here. In a load files, okay, mga reference on the documents na pwedeng tignan in the future. Okay, so ayun siya, mga recent transaction, magkita mo siya dito. Okay, meron plus, minus, 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 okay, minus 4. So, ayan. So, ayan. Ma-appreciate mo to, diretso sa quick, sa zero, kapag konti lang yung mga inventory items mo. Pero if you're talking about your uh, sales in Amazon and your Shopify, better to use a uh, third-party application such as A2X. Okay? Na i-coconnect natin sa zero. Okay po ba? For e-commerce businesses. So that's what's in business menu. My invoices, bills, expense billing, products and services, and uh, the new features, the short term cash flow, and the business map that. Okay. And then for the accounting menu, this is where we can find the bank accounts, the reports, and the advanced. Okay. Advanced, it's uh, this is the settings. So another way then to check the settings. Kasi yung sobrang dami way para uh, uh, yung access yung mga kailangan nyo. Kasi dito, may settings dito. So this one, meron din dito for the advance. Dito, wala siyang settings dito. So, ano lang dito, mga quick launches uh, such as invoice, bills, tax, quote, purchase order, manual journal, spend money, receive money, and transfer. Okay. So, accounting menu na tayo. So, ito na. Inhaintay din. So, for the accounting, uh, this is where, uh, yun, ulit, editing ko lang, bank accounts, okay, the reports, and the advanced uh, uh, options, such as the chart of accounts, uh, find and decode, fixed assets, and manual journals. Okay. So, ito, ito mga naka-star na to, uh, ano to, ibig sabihin favorite reports, ito mga to. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so if you're gonna add a bank account, so dito natin ma-end up yan, sa accounting menu. Okay. So dito siya, add bank account. And then you can find the bank accounts. Okay, let's say I'm using, I'm gonna set up HSBC Business UK, and then you need to put in the account name. Um, I don't have a name. business. Yan, yan, yan. Okay. And then, what is day to day? And then, sort code and then, okay. And three, two. So add the currency. Okay, then continue. Right, so ayun, as you can see, I added uh, a new bank account. And so and uh, And then, if you want to connect the bank account sa bank, uh, sa mismong banko, okay, I usually ask my client to do that part. Kasi may mga uh, confidential information na kailangan niyang i-input. Okay? So, pero kapag sinabi niya in advance sa inyo na, ay hindi, ayoko siyang i-connect dun sa bank account. Okay, that's okay. However, you have to do it manually. So, manual import yung gagawin mo. Okay, uh, hihingi ka lang ng CSV file ng bank statements niya. Okay, CSV file format. Mas, uh, mas mabilis kasi natin itong upload here in zero. And yun yung isa sa format na uh, in-accept ni zero sa pag-i-import. Okay, 
uh, facial statements tapos di ko convert pa natin siya ng CSV di ba or Excel tapos Excel to save natin siya ng CSV medyo matagal so kung meron namang CSV file format na available hindi mo na agad yun okay di ba tayo alright uh, baba so yan in here you can actually manage the account okay you have the account transactions the bank statements the spend money, the receive money, the transfer money, okay, reconcile account, the rules, reconciliation report, import a statement, new status updates. Okay. So here, so you think add back account, okay, transfer money, if you're transferring money from one account to another, you can also use this, uh, uh, this way of transferring money. So, pwede naman here din. Sobrang daming way pa, para kumitin yung mga yan. So, transfer money, invoicing, billing. Okay. And then this one, bank rules. If you have record uh, recurring um, uh, banking transactions na para medyo malas yung time mong kaka, para reconcile sa kanya every time na lang mag-reconcile ka. Kung alam mo naman repeating siya every month or every week, okay, set up a bank rule. Okay, sa bank rule, we have um, the spend money and the receive money rule. Okay, let's say ito, 7-11 as an example. Uh, recurring na lang si 7-11. So, uh, you can set up, oh, let's say, when money spent in bank statement matches all, okay, or you can choose any okay, of the following condition. But if you want all, so, lahat ng condition na nilagay mo dito dapat may ganyan doon sa papasok na bank fees or banking transactions. Kapag so, na-read yan, it will automatically set the contract as 7-11. Okay? And then, allocate items in the following way. So, miscellaneous cornerstone, let's say yan yung description niya. And then, pinakod mo sa as general expense or meals, okay, or entertainment. Kasi sa'yo yan, kung paano nga pinupod yung 7-11. Okay. And then, tax rate. Okay. Yan. Ngayon mo siya, mag-set up ka na dyan. If you're tracking the region, the properties, or the classes for this uh, particular expense, ngayon mo dyan. And then, wala ka nang gagalawin dito. Kayaan mo siyang 100%. Okay. You can set the reference. The reference will be it could be from the reference, from the description, from the payee, from the check, from the analysis code, or by measuring numbers. Okay, nasa sa'yo. Pero ako from reference, okay na yun. And then you can apply the rules saan? Sa lahat ba ng bank account or a specific bank account? Pwede ka manili. Okay, and then you can give a uh, uh, rule title. Give the rule a title. Yan. Okay, ako usually I copy this one. And then, nalagay ko dito. Para kapag nag, uh, nag, ah, ano siya, nagmamatch sa banking deeds, nagkikita ko, send ko siya dito. Okay, ano ko siya dito. And save that. Pinanggal ko ba? Okay. Pinanggal ko. So, ayun, same lang din sa receive money rules. Okay, uh, you can actually uh, receive money rules. You can add any text contain. So, sa lahat sa pay, okay, contains, let's say, um, uh, diba, labor. Okay, it takes labor. And then, travel, expense, or taxi, to repair taxi. And then I can go to the travel button. And then you can see them. You see the logo. So that's the customer. Yeah, is it Ayo? Uh, Sam? Snake? Uh, and then, hmm. The past is not in. Bawa din sa part na yun. Meron siya. Meron. Dun sa reference, may nilalagay sa deposit. Okay? So, nilalagay ko siya sa mga sinit. Um, sa sales. 
is the income saya berarti menerima in the reference I will say I just want to use it for the HSP business one 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 I can give the the rule okay uh deposit sales and Okay. Uh, so, 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 uh, which uh, account are you going to transfer it? And you join the reference bank account and uh, the rule title. Okay. Okay. Okay ba tayo sa bank account? Okay po ba? I'll save some of the questions later ha. Yung ibang nakikita kong questions. Mamaya ko siya sasagutin. Okay. Yung ibang medyo mabilis na sagot kaya sinasagot ko na po. So yung iba, I'll, I'll answer that later. Okay. Uh, okay. Next. And then, ito tayo sa reports. And then, I think I still have to set advance mo na. Para mas ma-appreciate yung report later. So, sa advanced, okay, this is the advanced accounting where you can see the advanced features and the advanced settings. Okay, for this one, you'll see the find and recode. Ito, pinaka, ito magand, isa sa maganda feature ni Zero to, especially if meron kang maling na code na transaction na sobrang dami. Let's say it's more than 100, ang hirap imano-mano i-recode yun, di ba? So, merong option dito si Zero na you can record code them one, uh, um, all at once. So, you multiple transactions at once. Okay? So, ito siya, pakita ko lang quickly. So, find and recode. And then, may mga conditions. Okay, let's say, I want to find uh, the account uh, is, let's say, for sales. Okay, and then, you can add the condition and date between um, so, if you want up to twenty-two, okay. So, ayon sila, nilabas sila. Okay, nandun sila lahat. Then, narealize mo na hindi pa na yun sa sales dapat. Okay, lahat ng si Ridgeway University or, uh, yeah, let's be more specific sa contact. Say, let's do contact. Of course, just university. I am doing research. Okay. Uh, so, reach my university. Okay, you realize mo hindi pa for sales. So, we should not Okay, lahat ng yan. Okay. Just click all the items that you want to be record, recorded. And then, uh, record source transaction. Okay. That's the contact. Okay. 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 Ay, mo naman nila i-record yan. Wala ka na ibalagay. You can find other accounts like Pigeon. Hindi naman pala siya sa South. Dapat sa North. Okay? You can add then review. Then click na lang. For record. Okay? So, ayun. Isa yan sa advanced uh, feature ni Zero, ni Zero. Find and record. Okay, then you have the manual journal and push a work directly with general ledger. Okay, uh, this is where you can find okay. uh, 
Okay. Uh, when creating new journal. Okay, new journal. And then, then meron tayong new repeating journal. And set up it here. And then, uh, import. Okay. Okay po ba? Yan. Tapos meron din dito sa quick launch. If you want to create manual chart. Okay. Sobrang daming way para ma-access yung mga yan. Okay. Okay. Next. Um, Pabilisan natin. So, you want fixed assets, okay? Assurance dashboard, exporting accounting data. This is where you export data from zero for importing to other system. Let's say you want to convert it from zero to QuickBooks. Ito yan, dito ka po po. And then history and notes, dito din siya. So, we have the financial settings. This is where you edit financial settings like tax period, okay? Uh, ayan, that scheme, is it cash, okay? Uh, that period, is it monthly? Or you can actually put that, uh, that number. And then, um, based on last sales, based on last purchases, you can uh, uh, edit this if, if you want. So, yeah, that's default. Yeah. Um, service username, put it here. And then, the lock date. So, let's say, nalinis mo na lahat ng financial year 20, 2019. At ayaw mo nang merong gagalaw nun, maglagay ka ng lock date dito. So, gusto mo wala nang gagalaw as of December 31, 2019. You can put it. Uh, you can stop all the user from um, accessing or uh, doing something ng December 31, uh, 2019. Okay. Yeah. So, then, ito, ito rin si, ano, si chart of accounts. Okay. Tax rate, ito yung minindiscuss ko kanina. Uh, you can actually add, you can add new tax rate here. Pwede mo ilagay, sales, purchase, easy sales, yun sila. Okay, siyempre, itong mga option na lumalabas dito, mga option na related for UK. Okay, if your, your client is Australia, of course, iba din yung option na lalabas dito. Okay, kung US yan, iba rin. Okay? So, yeah, can set up the amount. This is the person. We can put some name here. Okay? Uh, ayan. Then, yan, fix asset settings. Okay, ito yung mga... Uh, 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 how you manage your assets? Okay. I explain ko kahit po. Um, you can put the end of purchase date. Okay. What kind of assets? Ito yan ah. Uh, let's say asset type mo is computer equipment. Okay. Asset account. Ito yung related depreciation. Okay. Kung anong account ko siya papasok. My depreciation method, reducing balance, straight line, no depreciation, and full depreciation of purchase. Okay? And then actual days, and then you can put the person date. And effect, effective life. Okay? So, again. Tapos yung zero ng bahala mag-compute yung depreciation expense niya. Uh, oops. And then, tracking categories. Ito yung kanina yung sinasabi niyo about region. Okay? So, you can rename that, actually. Uh, let's say, I want it to be properties. And then, uh, rename the category options. It's 41 plus 3. So, oh, so kapag ako nag-open ako ng sales or invoices or if I'll, go, if I'll see the region column, ito na yan ang lalabas. Ang name niya na is properties. And the category option niya na is yun, nandiyan na sa 41. Okay? 
Now the tie-up. So you can add more uh, tracking categories here. Okay. Ako ba? Ito, useful to sa mga, yun nga, I mentioned a while ago, sa mga real estate industry or some other clients na gusto na lang kinatrap. Okay, yung mga um, income nila for certain projects. Okay, pwede nilang gamitin to. Okay, let's say consulting services. Okay, meron siya consulting services dito sa Philippines, meron siya sa ibang bansa. Okay, meron siya dito. Uh, meron siya, yun, yung mga location. Depende, ang category options yung ilalagay niya. Okay? So, ayan. And then, ayan, ito yung conversion dialogue. So, may nagtanong dito, paano yung ikuman ng second type? So, ito. Ito na po yun, Miss Evelyn. So, you have to input the conversion dialogue. Okay? Um... Let's say, nag-start pa lang, mag-zero uh, si client na gusto niya, gagamitin niya si zero this July. Okay? July. So, syempre, merong beginning balance na uh, June 30, 2020, of course. So, yun yung gagamitin ng conversion balance. Conversion beginning balance. Okay? Kailangan mo lang siya ilagay dito. So let's say that's 4,130.5. Okay. You can actually show all the accounts here. Ito na sila. Okay. Dapat balance si total debits and total credits. Okay. Para lang siyang journal entry din. The trial balance. The okay. trial balance po ito. Conversion balance. Okay. Dapat balance si debit at saka si credit. Okay. Uh, what else? And then, ito, organization settings. So, organization settings, ito yung sinasabi ko kanina, sa invoice settings. Okay. Yan nila. Uh, so far, malinaw naman sa'yo, Miss Alphine Screen. Yes. Clear na clear. I think na ako mm, na sa internet. Uh, either internet connection or sa ano yan, video. Mm -hmm. So, ayan. Tsaka baka po may delay kasi minsan hindi naman siya kagad. Okay, nag-load. Okay, medyo natagal ito mag-load. Okay, balik na naman natin. Okay, open link in the job. Okay, sige. Uh, ayan, kumasa ka siya. So, ayan, invoice settings. Let's say um, you want to customize your invoice template. So, ito yan. Uh, you can create a team. Okay, may standard, may custom. Okay, uh, may default settings saka mga payment services at saka invoice reminder. So, for this one, pwede mo i-edit yan. You can add logo, you can add the address, business address. Then, you can actually adjust it. Ayan. Edit. Then, ito siya. Ito yung mga options. Ito yung mga pwede mo ayusin, i-edit based dun sa need mong invoice na template. Now, you can adjust the margin, the padding, the font, the font size. Okay? And then, uh, uh, yeah, you can put show registered address, you can show logo, show tax column. You can click that, go on in preferred mode. And, and then, if you want to put some invoice statements, and notes, and the terms and codes. Yeah. So that's the invoice settings. Uh, and then we have the payment services. I, um, I mentioned yesterday Stripe and um, Go Cardless. My and PayPal as well. I, and Go Cardless. 
PayPal, and a credit card powered by Stripe. Stripe. Mga payment gateway po yan. PayPal, Stripe, uh, ano ba ba yung isa? Uh, GoCardless, yan. Yan sila. Pag-edit that. Okay. Remove and manage things. Okay. So, we have the users. Ito rin. Ito mo rin. Uh, ito mo magkikita. Yung um, history ng mga users mo din. Uh, if you're gonna uh, invite users. Add, remove, or modify user of this organization. Ito siya sa organization settings. It's under the accounting. Okay. Accounting menu and then advance. Okay. And then, dito siya. Click the organization settings. Okay. Then currencies. Ayan. Then man, you can actually add currencies. And no, take note ha. Depende yan sa subscription mo. If, uh, if suit ba to subscription ng for multi, multiple currency. Okay. If isa lang naman yung currency, you can set up it here. Okay. Then mga apps na connected. Ayun daw po. Here naman daw po kay Miss Cherry. Try filtering your gadget backward. Ayan. So, ayan, payment services. Uh, then, email settings. Okay. Ayan, dyan yung email settings. Customize mo yan kung ibang email yung gamit. Payroll settings, 0 to 0, and custom contact links. Okay. So, that's the advanced features and the settings, as well as the organization and settings. Okay, punta na tayo sa reports. Okay. For the reports, uh, we have the financial, the sales, the purchases, the tax, the inventory, the accounting, the payroll, the fixed assets. Okay. So, the dalas naman yung ginagamit for financials is the balance sheet. And the profit and loss. As you can see, may mga logo dito na new. Ibig sabihin, itong mga to, new format na sila. And then this one are the old format. But there are times ako, I find it useful pa rin itong mga old format. So, I play around. Sometimes I use uh, the new format. And then sometimes I use the old format. Okay, kasi sa old format, I can still, uh, I use this whenever I'm tracking, let's say, um, Yan, and comparing the the properties, let's say, especially a uh, real estate clients, na gusto nila nagikita nila yung mga income and expenses nila for each property. So I use this one. So as you can see, yan, let's say, let's assume this is a property. It's a north, a south, and west coast. Yan, dito mo sila makikita. Diba? You can see how much they are earning. Profitable ba yung property na yan or hindi? Okay, uh, nag i ba siya ng loss? Okay, ayan. Diyan mo, diyan mo ma makikita. And then you can actually export it to Excel, PDF, or Google Sheet. And you can actually create uh, layout options. Okay, you can create new layout. And I can say this is draft for uh, picture use or data use. Okay. And then, ito naman yung itsura niya kapag new format. Okay. Okay. So let's say, yeah, because you pay all that serve financial year. Uh, comparison one period, and then that's accrual, filter financial, then to see all. Then, 
Then let's say I just want to see if you want this wood. Yeah, iba sobrang iba sa dun sa kabila. Hindi niya mag hindi niya pagkulit sa lahat eh. Kaya isa isa yung mo pa siya. Let's see if we can do something. Hindi siya. Ganito lang siya agad. Hindi niya pinagigita for what property niya kasi guys. Kung ba na. Okay, just run it. Oh, di ba? So, sometimes I will, uh, I still use yung uh, old format sa reportings. Okay? So, depende yan sa need ng client mo. So, just you just need to be resourceful and uh, easy mo lang. Uh, so, yan. I think mga different financial reports. We have the balance sheet, the profit and loss, may discussion of cash flow, may budget summary, budget variance, business performance, tracking summary. Ito yan. Okay. Ayan. You can check it for account. Uh, right, so meron silang tax report. Ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo. Uh, yan, they, can, they easily pull out a uh, tax return for you. Based dun sa mga data na in-input mo na sa zero. Okay? So ito, hindi ko pwede mo. Ito na nakaset up. So, I just need to set up. Is there a little demo company lang? And dito mo naman magkita yung battery reconciliation mo. So, ito siya. Meron ka ng um, view of the bed collected. Okay, and file, opening balance. Okay, but paid. Ayan, magkita mo siya siya. But owing. Then, accounts receivable, accounts payable, expense rate. So, based from experience, uh, yung sa selling client ko, uh, BAS kasi yun, di ba? So, GST reconciliation naman yun. So, they really used zero in preparing the BAS. Mas mabilis na, mas mabilis na naproproduce yung report. Kasi parang, hindi mo siya kailangan manual. Parang, dinirigyan mo na lang yung mga figures dun sa GST reconciliation and, G, and, and uh, GST return or the BAS return. Okay. Once na satisfy na sila doon, uh, meron lang silang mga few steps na gagawin and then it's all good for uh, tax filing. ETO filing siya. So for, for Australia. And then this one, this part, ako lagi kong ginagamit to si account transaction. Whenever I want to review myself, okay, let's say Nag-reconsult ka kay uh, client ng July 1 uh, hanggang July 31. And then you want to check if um, properly ba yung pagkaka-code mo sa tayo. Sige, specific account na lang. Oh, na ayaw mo yung account. Okay, so dito, medyo filter na. Ang galing natin yung isa na parang hindi na siya kung may okay. So, shares and methods. Para mag-crash sa screen. And then, I want to show yung video and properties. And then, button. And go. Ayan. Diyan mo matibuta kung properly mo ba siyang na-code? Let's say for this one. Um, uh, ito, advertising and marketing. Pero alam mo pala, ay dito pala siya dapat sa may audit, audit and accountancy fees. 
So dito pa lang, na-review mo na yung sarili mo if nakuha mo ng maayos yung account coding. Okay, let's say, uh, ay, na-overlook ko pala to, ay dapat pala nang push sa audit and accounting course. Dito pa lang, check mo at ma-record mo na. Also, medyo masaya lang din sa uh, bad or tax coding. So make sure if that, that transaction is with that, tiga ng that. Pag wala, wala. Okay? Kaya dapat nangihingi tayo ng mga receipts. If you're unsure, whenever you're coding as, okay, isama mo yan dun sa transaction query mo. Huwag kang basta magkukod. Okay? And then, and then if the client wants to see that everything should have um, properties, so dito pa lang, makikita mo yung mga transaction na hindi mo nalagyan ng properties. So, you can easily add uh, a property here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Isang way yan sa pag-click. Okay. And then the inventory item summary, the purchases, and the sales. Okay. So, ayan. Takaw ko na bala. I'm going to just check. Okay. Board, invoices, bills, land, and chart of our own set. So, okay. I guess na explain ko na siya lahat. So, mag-stop screen mo na ako. At pinila mo na ako ng tubig. So, i-ready nyo na yung mga questions nyo. Okay. Katapos ng live streaming, pwede nyo naman siyang panakorin ulit <coughs> sa mga may hina yung signal. <coughs> okay, um, huwag na kayong malungkot. Okay. <laughs> Masyadong malungkot. Mapapanood nyo naman po ulit yan. Uh, okay. Tingin ko muna. Ano na din yung mga question? Ano na yung signal? Later after yung streaming, you can watch it again. Okay. Ano ba ka? Ano yung mga question na sinabi na hindi ka? Mm, meron ah, yung project based daw na company girl ma-apply ba daw yung cost and expenses I think it has something to do with yung project feature yes yeah, so zero. zero projects uh, nasan yun madam kaka tingnan ko uh, naka facebook user lang doon siya ano 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 5 comments Okay, from the bottom. Ka six siya. Pataas ka. Thank you, Koja. Ito may isa dito. Sige, balikan ko yun na lang. Paano ang invoice service? Nabayaran ako. Okay. Direct na dinideposis ako. So, ang invoice service hindi na-reflect na ba yun? Paano ang invoice service? Nabayaran na. Pero direct na dinideposis ako. Direct na dinideposis ako. Direct na dito. Uh, Ito, cash deposit po ba ang sinasabi niyo? Kumbaga pa, uh, meron siyang na-create na invoice sa zero, mm -hmm. pero yung payment niya, directed siya sa, uh, kumbaga pa, nag-pay siya online or through bank. Kumbaga, ang concern niya siguro is paano ma-close yung invoice. Yun siguro yung concern niya. Ah, uh, okay. Papasok yan dito sa banking. Doon sa, ano ba ba, of course, kung nakaset up yung business bank account sa zero, papasok naman, magre-reflect yung deposit payment na yun doon sa bank account na yun. So, yung invoices, it will automatically give you uh, a suggestion, ah, this uh, transaction is matching. Kasi same yung amount, and uh, probably same din yung description. Okay, parang ganito. Okay. Share ko po yung screen. Kita po ba? Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. So, Halimbawa, meron siyang 
invoice and then yung payment niya through bank. Mm -hmm. Yun. So, ayun po siya. So, as you can see, wait, yung dito to. So, ayan, si Trax Traxton Property Management. Okay, this one is a spend. O, dito tayo sa reach way. This one is an invoice. Okay, receive eh. Okay, uh, meron siyang na-create na invoice na 0035. Okay, pumasok yung payment sa bank. Okay, and then that's the time. Okay, uh, papakita ni zero na this one is matching. Okay, and at na-verify mo naman na uh, ito nga yun. Ito nga yung invoice na yun at ito nga yung payment. Yun. Then, just click OK. Okay, and the invoice will show as paid. Okay, makiklare okay. na. Okay. Then, sige, next tayo. Nakikare ko naman. Uh, okay, tapos na tayo dyan. Okay naman po sa akin ba connection niyo po? Tapos di rin na. Ah, uh, ito, organization pa ito. Uh, okay. Okay, organization. Tama po ba? So, kaya hindi nagre-reflect yung name nila dito. I think hindi nila inalaw si StreamYard. Okay, sa mga gusto mag-comment, uh, I think ito yung, you have to allow StreamYard sa Facebook nyo. Okay, um, yes, skip natin to. Hindi ko, baka organization yung binatanong dito. Ito, invoice number po, pwede nga po, gusto nyo i-book. Invoice number? Uh, yung invoice number po, auto-generated po yun. You can only add, or you can only change or remove yung sa reference. You can add and remove and change yung sa reference. Okay, auto-generated po sa invoice number. And then, kung sample, ibang type ng service, parang may tracking din sa ibang type ng service. Ano ibang type ng service? What do you mean po? Uh, products and services po ba? Can you po? Yung po ba yung minamention niya dito? Products and services, uh, pwede naman, uh, pwede kang mag-set up doon. Let's say, under siya ng services. Okay. Um, pwede kang mag-create ng line item mo doon for that services. Uh, and then, set up mo kung ano ang code. Okay. May know if this is correct. Okay. Ito ba yung question? And then, set up the tax rate. May the amount. Okay. Uh, yun, para saan po yung region, yun ay pinasalag ko na to. And then, region po, para po, na, uh, region po, para po na sa set ka ng subsidiary ledger. Subsidiary ledger, region po. Yes, parang um, tracking. Uh, yun na, may nasa ito kanina. It's tracking name and tracking, tracking ka, tracking. Tracking name, okay, and then tracking category options. Masinasin po, paano makita yung beginning and ending balance? Ah, makikita niyo po yun. Merong running balance ng CSV. Di ba po, Miss Alfie? Yes, Hello? meron. Hello. Pero basta okay, ano, may PDF file ka. Yes, But it's so, a reference. Hindi mo makikita. Uh -huh. True. Mm -hmm. So, you can both uh, ask for that. CSV file format and the PDF statements. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. 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 Okay, trial balance. Uh, next, 
back and forth. And then, oh. Yung find and record, any user magagamit ko ba yung sa TV? Alam ko, uh, need ng account ng toolbox or accounting on the TV. Um, I think for find and record, kailangan mo na at least standard or advisor role. Okay. And I think it also sa, ano, sa subscription mo. Okay. Sige, verify ko sa yan, Marie. See? Palikan kita dyan. Uh, so, saan ba? Okay, so, hindi po the client ask you to tax, to pay tax filing as a zero number. Um, okay, for tax filing, guys, uh, wala nga experience for tax filing, I don't recommend it na you do it. Okay, kasi meron po sila, support lang tayo. So, we have to make sure that the books are up to date. Okay, um, ready for tax filing. Okay, uh, kasi mas maganda, merong mas expert na magre-review pa ng tax reporting ba kaysa, mag kaysa masyado tayong magtiwala dun sa tax reporting na pinaproduce ni Zero or QuickBooks, di ba? So, uh, better, someone expert muna ang mag-review ng mga yun before niya masabi talaga na this is ready for tax filing. Okay? Okay po ba? So, ayun. Kami, even ako, I don't uh, offer tax filing sa mga kliyente ko. I only do the bookkeeping. I just prepare the books uh, for tax filing. Okay? Kasi meron silang in-house account. Mahirap na kasi pag na-penalty sila, ikaw pang sisisihin ng client. Okay? Tsaka kung mali-mali yung amount na piniclear natin. Diba? So, ayun. Isang sa yeah. Isang zero subscription, isang company lang din po ba pwede gamitin? Yes, one company only per subscription. Okay? One company per subscription. Uh, paano po mag-set up ng company account at saka po chart of account? Set up of company accounts. Chart of accounts. Okay, sige, pakita ko yan. Hindi ko ata nakikita ko ito. Okay, sige. Good question. Share it tayo ulit ng screen. Okay, sige. Chart of accounts. Mm, events. Okay, and then chart of accounts. Okay, so this is the chart of accounts. Okay, you can um, see that in the accounting menu and then advanced. Okay, tapos pwede mo siyang i-favorites in advanced feature na rin siya. Ayan, top chart of accounts. Accounting, chart of accounts. Okay, so this one, okay, you can add account. You can add, you can rent, pwede ka mag-create ng bank account. And then think. PDF, lahat ng sa chart of accounts, and then import and export. Kung marami-rami ito, uh, pwede kang mag, uh, may ini-import ka ng mga chart of accounts, medyo marami, you can use the import. And then gusto mo naman i-import to sa other accounting software, export. Okay, ayan. So add bank account. You can choose account type. Is it assets? Okay, is it uh, current asset, fixed asset, inventory, non-current asset? Payment, oh, is it equity? Is it expenses? Yan, piliin yan. Uh, is it liability? Current ba? Nan current? Okay, liability. And then revenue. <coughs> Sales, revenue, or other income. Okay, let's say I want to create uh, expense. Okay, account type. Uh, ito pala account code ha. Ito yung mga account code here. So, hindi mo pwedeng gamitin ulit yung mga account code na nagamit niya. Okay? Even yung mga na-archive na mga account code. Okay? Let's say for expenses. Asan si expenses? Ayun. 
actually ginagawa ko, sinusunod ko sila. Lahat ng expenses sama-sama, lahat ng over, overhead, ex, overhead sama-sama. Ang may specific uh, code din sila, let's say 1, 1 to 150. This is for current asset na. And then from 151 to 200, non-current. So, ganun. Uh, expense siya, let's say, wala naman. 496, I can use for I say the time mails. I can add here uh, on the link to the list of business mails. Then uh, you are aware that it's 5% of that on expenses, so you can actually add the default tax setting here. If wala, okay lang na mail 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 that can be. Okay. And then it is me sabi ko kanina. Sa dashboard, if I want to show this on the dashboard watch list, okay, click ko lang po. Okay, so pag click ko to, magigita mo siya dito, dun sa dashboard account watch list. Okay, and then enable payment to this. Save. Okay, tingnan natin yung dashboard. So, yun, added na siya. Okay, refresh lang natin to. Ayun, ayun na si Mills. Diba? Mabas na siya. So, ayun, income and expenses, nalabas ulit dito. Again, all accounts, you can see all the assets here, the liabilities here, okay, the equity here, and then expenses here. All right. So, yun. Yung gabi niyo. So, yung gabi tayo, ito lahat ng mga dinilit mo ng mga shard of accounts. Okay? Tinatanggal mo sila or tinagawa mo sila kaya natin. Okay? So, again, uh, dun sa account list, income and expenses lang yung pwede mo i-display. Correct ko lang yung sarili ko. Ha? Income and expenses lang. Yung pwede mo i-display. Alright. Um, then, ano pa kasi? I'm stop sharing one more thing. Nasagot ko ba't yung palang mga sa chart of accounts? Sige. Meron po ba existing chart of accounts for, for any new subscription? A zero. Okay. Can you prove an existing charity for hands for any for a new subscription of zero? Um, uh, you mean ano yung setup na hal? Maka built oh, in, oh, oh maka built in. Meron, mm -hmm. meron po, meron na po. Bali yan yung demo company, ganyan, ganyan na ganyan. Meron na agad. So siya pa empty lang to, walang lab. Okay. Meron siya na mga charity for hands na gat na kalagay. Yes, pwede mo i-rename, pwede mo i-archive yung iba para hindi nakakalito. So, posible. Yan, meron na po. Next stop, next stop daw. Okay. For the tax table po and tax rate for different type of goods and services, if ever will be provided to ba ng client? Uh, yes, actually basic. Uh, you can ask it. Um, tsaka makikita mo naman doon sa mga receipts na ito provide ni client. So better uh, in advance, uh, do, uh, ano, uh, do advanced reading or advanced searching about dun sa client mo, tax coding dun sa client mo yun. Let's say for Australia, okay, pwede ka na mag-research in advance. Okay, and uh, say for UK, ganun din. Pwede ka mag-research in advance kung ano yung um, basic tax coding nila. And then, ba, meron existing na, meron na, meron ng uh, existing book si client, so parang magti-take over ka na lang. Okay, kasi wala na yung previous bookkeeper. Pwede mong maging reference yung mga previous entry. In tax coding. 
Okay. And if may clarification pa rin sa tax rate, you can ask. Yes, you can ask. Huwag kang matakot magtanong. It's okay to ask kasi hindi naman tayo tax expert dun sa, ano nila, uh, sa country nila. And usually, itong mga question na to, uh, you can ask it to their accountant. Uh, ako kasi, uh, in-introduce ako nung client ko dun sa accountant nila. So at least, uh, I can easily ask dun sa accountant, uh, I just wanna clarify if, what are the tax rate and tax uh, laws. Yung mga ganyan, yung mga usual question, uh, I just want to, to know how will I properly uh, call this one and all. So, yun, I can ask. Can we see example of aging report? Can we see an example of aging report or something? Uh, sa, sa report? Okay, sige po. Um, first thing. Uh, aging. Ito po, ito po ba? How aging receivable summary? Ayan. Ayan po ba, madam? Okay. Ayan po ba? Ayan po ba yung question? Agent summary. Yeah, okay. Okay. So yeah, nandito siya sa reports, sales. Okay, um agent receivable summary ito po siya. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Ayan, yeah, overtime na tayo. <laughs> okay. Um, question po. So, conversion balance po. Ano yung ginagamit niya if nag-migrate or nag-start to manage si client in zero in the middle of the year? Begin if the financial year na ganyan pa rin po ba or yung month kung kayo na si client nag to zero? Uh, okay. Kung kailan niya ginagamit sa zero. Okay, kung kailan siya mag-start kay zero. Let's say, uh, mid-year. Let's say, June pa lang siya nag-start kay zero. Of course, ang i-carry i- paper or yung conversion balance mo doon will be uh, May 31, 2020. So, yun yung i-carry over yung conversion balance doon sa zero. Okay? Unless, sinabi niya, I want you to start, I want you to convert everything from from the beginning. So, yun, from the beginning. Okay. Um, so, yun. Sige, madam, entertain mo muna sila. Uh, inom lang ako. So, <laughs> bilis. <laughs> Uh, yung lang ako guys ha, wait lang. So far, musta naman, na, uh, nakasabay po ba kayo? Ah, <laughs> uh,
Okay, uh, I think may nakita ka about depreciation. So, let me correct myself there. Um, you have to check the ano ha, guys. Um, so, zero. Ang ginagawa lang kasi pala dito sa depreciation natin, guys, is yun. You have to tap it first, okay? You have to make sure that the asset type is correct. The depreciation, uh, the amount and the depreciation type, okay? Straight line, uh, ano nga nga ito kung Okay, um, fixed assets there. So yes, uh, unfortunately, we still have to do it manually. Okay, it's not really everything is automatic. Okay, let me correct myself there. Uh, okay. It's usually the accountant who process this. So, ako, ang ginagawa ko lang, I just review if the um, uh, the asset account is properly coded. Okay. And then, yeah, yun nga, yung mga details, the purchase price, purchase date. Okay, nandiyan. And then, what kind of deposition method. And then, the rate. And effective life. Okay. So, a contact will come in and uh, will reconcile the fixed asset before doing the depreciation. Okay. Manually pa rin po. Okay, manually. Depreciation expense manually pa rin. Okay. Okay, ano pa ba? Okay, last two questions na lang tayo guys ha. Overtime na tayo. Uh, bukas na tayo medyo magtagal. Baka nainit na rin yung iba. Sana hindi kayo nainit. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay ka po dyan, Miss Alvi. Pasensya ka na. Tumagal. Okay uh, lang. Okay. Depreciation expense po, uh, as I mentioned kanina, uh, una, ina-reconcept mo na si fixed assets before they're running depreciation. So, um, si accountant po ang magsiset up ng depreciation. So, siya ang mag create manual. Hindi po nag-end. <laughs> Hindi po nag-end. Nag-end po ba talaga agad? Biglang nawala, sabi niya. Okay po. And so, I'm to schedule pa rin for F8 to monitor. Okay. Yes. Yes. Need to monitor pa rin. Hintayin yes. uh, natin. Baka meron ng new feature na <laughs> automatic na lahat talaga. Okay. Even in, ano naman eh, even in QuickBooks. Manually pa rin siya, Miss Alpi, right? So, depreciation yes. expense. Mm -hmm. Sige po, okay lang, Miss Marilette. It's okay. Uh, okay, guys, uh, before we end, uh, I want to show you the question. Uh, it's very easy. Uh, this is the the question that you will answer doon sa Google Form natin for our perfect attendance bonus. Okay, I'll share my screen again. Okay. Okay, this is the question, right? Is the trial organization have almost the same feature as the organization? So, all you have to do is to answer yes or no. Okay, dun sa Google form natin. Okay, and let us know what's your takeaway for day two. Okay, para naman makakalam namin. I know some of you are have, having problems with their internet. Okay, so going you after the streaming, you can watch it again. Okay. Pag medyo okay yung internet nyo, you can watch it again para mas maintindihan yung discussion. Okay? So, don't feel bad. 
kung hindi nyo hindi masyado magets okay you can still watch it okay uh and then uh, i think that's the end of my slide okay so over time na rin tayo so baka siya na inet so ayun guys ah uh, lang naman uh, again thank you so much for joining us this uh, afternoon so tapos na naman ng day two okay thank you lord <laughs> Thank you, Miss Alfie, uh, for helping me out. Grabe ang kira. Then magisa. Okay, so okay yon. Thank you for sticking with us. Okay, may zoom agad yung camera ko. Para mahulog. Okay. Um. Thank you, guys. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll be reading your takeaway for day two. Okay, and your answer for day two to qualify for our um bonus. Okay, tool which is the cleanup guide tool. So yes, rewatch nyo lang. You can rewatch it later. Okay, thank you so much, Ponce, uh, Belle. Uh, thank you, Mackie, Jeffrey, Cheryl. Hi, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Mia, thank you, Jessa. Thank you so much for joining us. So yes, you can watch it later after the stream. Or, or kasul okay na yung internet niyo. Okay, you can watch it again. Yes, you can watch day one and day two. Again, guys, meron tayo dito yung popular topics in post. As you can see, nilagyan ko na ng, ano, ng, ng, ng topic here sa side. Uh, okay. 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 Dito sa gilid, nakikita niyo yung day one. Hanggang ito naman gagawin ko day two. Okay, you can watch it again. So, ikapost ko ulit yung link okay, kung saan nyo ilalagay yung pag-it na yung Google Form here. Okay. Ayan. So, thank you. Thank you, Carly. Thank you, Vance. Thank you, Maya. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Malu, Lanza. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Sige, bukas na lang ulit. Again, guys, 4 p.m. tayo bukas, ha? 4 p.m. Huwag kayo, huwag masyado kayong maaga na 2 p.m. Okay, 4 p.m. tayo guys. And abangan niyo po yung mga announcement namin tomorrow. Okay? And our perfect attendance bonus. Okay? So again, thank you so much. Uh, thank you. Uh, for joining us. And thank you, Ms. Alfie. Thank you. Okay, That's thank you. Thank you, everyone. Okay.